can you use kinesio tape or sports tape for pelvic floor dysfunction? That's the subject of this video. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Dr. Shaki from Core Pelvic Floor Therapy right here in Irvine, Orange County. The practice is for patients with pelvic floor dysfunction, postural neurology, and neurokinesiology, the movement, the, the science behind movement. A lot of times people ask me if there is a way to tape for pelvic floor dysfunction. So in order to answer that question, I need to clarify a couple of things. Number one, pelvic floor dysfunction is more than pelvic floor. And pelvic floor is more than what more likely you think pelvic floor is. So pelvic floor is all the lining, the musculature lining of your pelvis. So if your pelvis is like a bowl, with right here is a, your external genitalia and your anus, and this is your pelvic inlet, that structure, the musculature of your, let's say vagina and penis, the musculature around the anus, the space between the two, which is referred to as perineum, is on the outside. And then on the inside, you have related musculature right in that vicinity. And then all these muscles that are lining your pelvis, so it's more than the perineum, anus, and penis or vagina. Those musculature are heavily influenced by walking and your posture, which makes total sense. We've done a whole blog on this subject. I'm gonna make sure we put that blog link in the description box so you can refer to it if you wish. Now, the part that people miss also is the influences of the pelvic floor. The influences are the lower back, sacroiliac joint, your pelvis, the front of your um, um, pelvis, which is your pubic symphysis, where your pubic bone is. That's actually two bones coming together to form a joint there. The health of that joint is very important, which is easily compromised with childbirth or exercise for you men that you think you're out of the loop. Your hips, and um, I mentioned sacroiliac joint as well. So there are quite a few things that influence this. So while we can't tape the muscles inside the pelvic inlet, we can certainly tape the lower back, the lower portion of the mid back, the hip joints, but here's the catch. If you're thinking taping is going to prevent you from doing anything, you're mistaken. We're going to do a video on just the subject of taping that um, we will put at the end of this video as well. You have to understand taping is not for stabilization. Taping is purely for sensory stimulation of the brain. It's almost like, hey, pay attention. This is the move that we're asking for. So you gotta remember that. I did a video on Instagram with over 10 million people that watched it. And the reason is because I think people are so confused about the whole premise behind taping. At any rate, if you have not subscribed to the channel, this is your opportunity to do so. My link to my other channel for movement and neurokinesiology and postural neurology is in the description box as well. If you have not subscribed to that one, this is a great time to do so as well. Thanks for watching.